Hey guys, look who it is, Mateo back in the house. What's new, bro? Nothing much, man. Just uh, just got back in town. Been flying planes, trying to do big things. Yeah. Just trying to get big like this guy. Not really working <laughs> out. Just cool, realized I can't cool. fit in a belt, and so I'm getting a little fat. So how's this uh, Navy thing going on? It's going well, man. Just uh, what, what's the newest uh, update with that? I'm gonna be in Texas flying T45 Charlie, and okay. so it's a jet, okay. and just basically doing that. Nice. Nothing, nothing really else new besides just working out and let's see that trying. sick tattoo oh all right oh, oh that's actually pretty damn nice <laughs> thanks man oh yeah you didn't you didn't go to the cheapo no i didn't i spent a lot of money <laughs> no. for that thing yeah so. i'd do the same thing man Shit. yeah okay but cool other than that that's pretty much it oh just right. like i said trying to trying to get big but it's not really working oh dude you're gonna hit a new uh, max with this belt on yeah Shit. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlogs, homies. This is Matt Ogus. So glad Mateo's in town. Really cool working out and just chilling, eating with this dude. Like old times. Anyways, great. check out the little peacock thing I got going on. <laughs> pretty cool. 370 going for 8 reps here, but feeling pretty damn good this set. Even though my lower back is still kind of sore from those beltless deadlifts, um, my legs felt incredible this workout. And one thing I can point out is, from this angle, you will notice that it doesn't look like I'm going deep, right? But check out where the bar ends up at the bottom of the rep. And later in this video, you'll see uh, the bar is ending up in the exact same place, and you can actually see where my hip is compared to my knee. So that's something for you guys. If you want to show, for example, someone, or if you want to see your depth, then it's better to put the camera lower, uh, basically at either between or at your knee or at your hip level or somewhere between the two as you will see later in this video that's just a pro tip <laughs> for you guys that have uh, YouTube channels or that uh, you just want to film your form like for example this is where you film if you want to get the actual angle of, or, or good, uh, a good view of you know if someone's hidden parallel or not or how someone's lower back looking if you get a different angle like uh, shoulder height level you're really not getting the same information and here you go once again We're right about um, you know butt level and it's much easier to see how low I'm going with this uh, now 315 I lowered it from the 370 to 315 because my lower back was feeling pretty pooped and as you can see going pretty low with that so and, and at the same time if I had this just even a little bit lower probably just a little bit lower you could you could probably even see even better um, or more from a side angle you could see even better uh, that uh, my hips are even going lower than these so just some uh, some camera talk I guess right that shit really doesn't matter uh, pretty damn good workout um, Mateo was in the house and just just felt awesome um, we were gonna go at <coughs> go to Pizza Rock after this workout so had that to look forward to and uh, really nice All right. it's about 225 because uh, <laughs> Look at the weights. I always have like a fear of like the weights falling off the side. <laughs> I mean, that's why he's clenching his butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, the what? whole time, I'm just looking at the gap between these two tents. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, on. oh my god, <laughs> if that like shit that falls off. <laughs> well, it's just. Oh, about to pass out and shit. Damn it! I came on the last rep. I missed the whole set, came on the last rep. Didn't it's have. the hardest set of my life. Was it? <laughs> Should we play for that? Seven plates? Yeah. Not bad. Third set. Oh, I need a hurry. Second set of that 315 for 10. Really cannot emphasize enough how important it is to uh, get your squat form down from the beginning as a beginner lifter and uh, to get that down as quickly as possible uh, so that you're building upon good form uh, you'll be able to gain more strength faster uh, everything will be better better hypertrophy everything is better when you're starting off with better great form good form compared to if you just jump right into things start throwing weight on and you're not using good form it'll lead to injuries and Man, life is just not good. 
those guys end up being the quarter squatters, the half squatters, the guys that end up complaining that squats ruin your knees because those guys weren't doing it right to get it from the get-go. You'll notice if you do everything pretty much how the body's supposed to, um, not too many issues arise. It's from things like hitting uh, hitting the side of a, or hitting the pin off a rack that end up fucking you up, like what happened to me a little bit. So, at least I can't say it was my form. So here we're jumping to uh, stiff leg deadlift, and you can see, you know, my back's getting better and better and better, like well, even less back rounding now. So I'm able to keep that nice lower back uh, safe, tight, straight, and uh, these are stiff leg deadlifts, dead stop at every single rep. Um, much prefer those over Romanians, definitely. Normally do those at sets of five, but this time I was doing sets of eight. Um, and uh, it didn't seem a problem. Checking for my angles so with my cool back with uh, looked totally fine. So I'm cool with uh, doing sets of eight if I want to. Yeah. Although I, I do like sets of five. But hey, maybe I'll start doing sets of eight since the weight is pretty light. It does look like my hamstring, my back is uh, is looking really good. Or is, is good. Um, hamstring's getting healthier. And my lower back is uh, reflecting that, it seems. So sets of eight seems like a, a good choice for me doing these. So I ended up with like six sets of eight rather than my 10 sets of five for this workout. And uh, not a bad choice. I really, really love this. I'm telling you, these stiff leg deadlifts, if you have not done these and you're, are, like, you're really focusing on bringing your hamstrings up, maybe start getting on these because I, I like these way better than Romanians, first of all. I feel it way more in my hamstrings, actually. And um, I feel like it's safer as well. Boom. Now, here's my calves. And... Um, if you've been with me for a while, you know that my calves were fucking tiny as fuck. But anyways, my basic prescription for calves is five sets of five as heavy as possible with something similar of the tempo that I have here. A significant pause at the bottom, significant pause at the top, and uh, basically just make sure not to bounce at the bottom. It's, pretty, it's, it's about as simple as that. One-legged hamstring curls right here. Freaking love these. Just watching these guys talk, doing my calf raises. Hey, see ya, bro. Alright, dude, I'm gonna go try that that thing he said. Are you gonna? I'm gonna ask Melissa if she's down. I don't know. What's it What's called? The Menage a No, the other one. Dude. <laughs> she, she, more he more. said she was gonna ask no. her if she was down. That's more, what I'm saying. More complicated one. What's it called? Cabernet okay. Sauvignon. Do I need to see K Star about this to get my mobility? <laughs> no. No, or you can even try a Zippendale. Okay. Not white Zippendale, right. that's obviously white. white. Okay, um, I have issues with my T-spine, but I'm going to try. I, I, can, <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can manage. I can, I can get this done, Ogus. Oh, okay. Well, if something yeah, goes no, wrong, call that. me up. I'll call you, I'll come, o I'll come over with my camera, and I'll redeem the situation. I can't feel my legs! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just come up in there with my pants down. Like, <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm serious, you I got you. Try, you should try me. Menage a trois as well. I'm not even lying to you. I'm literally not They're even talking lying. about like drinks. <laughs> I'm 100% legal. So I'm doing the good girls right now, as you guys can see. Really don't know why, but uh, hitting that inner thigh just in case you never know when you're gonna need that inner thigh muscle on stage. <clears throat> yeah. Yay, the snow boat. Yay. I'm in the bathroom at Pizza Rock in Sacramento. They got all kinds of awesome artwork on the walls. So I forgot to show you guys a little bit of this. <laughs> it looks sick. Look how awesome that looks. Anyway, it's kind of dark inside. So that's kind of why I'm not really filming in there. It's so dark, it's so loud from the music. But we're ordering pizza and uh, salad and stuff. So that there post-workout, right? All right, let's check out where we're at now. For my beers. Uh, There's me on the ceiling. Only my mom was there with my sister. So, Mateo. Hey, make sure you get the guy in the wall. Knock on the door. Look at that guy on the wall. Hey, he's like, nothing here. I just want to stop by and say what's up. Got a salad right here. Like, my boy or Sharon. Cali and Thalia. August cake! Yeah, motherfucker!